Hello and welcome to this Garrett.com training presentation on how to set the speed, the duplex and other parameters on your switch, your switch's switch ports. Uh, if we log into the uh, graphical user interface using the standard login here, uh, we immediately get greeted with a welcome screen which has, at the heart of it, a graphical representation of the front of the switch, all of the different switch ports and their current activity. As you can see, we have the activity LED on port 1. It gives a description uh, as well. Uh, you can't actually see the hand and notice on the videos, but it's basically a small hand indicator that you can click on this item and it will take you to the configuration screen for each of the ports. Now, this is a very useful feature. It gives you a, a what you would see look if you were standing in front of the switch, but remotely. So it's very useful. Um, if you want to make uh, a change to each of these switch port parameters, for example, change the speed, the duplex, and what have you, all you need to do is click on one of the switch ports and it takes you to the menu where you can make those changes. Now, if you want to see that done via the menu system, all you need to do is go configuration, expand out that menu, go down to uh, ports, expand out that menu, and finally go to the settings uh, menu item and there you are at the same screen so uh, as you can see the graphical display clicking on one of the ports is a much quicker and easier way to get there okay for each of the ports listed we have all, avail all of the available parameters that we can change uh, from the port number to its name to its duplex its speed etc uh, etc et these are the, this is a read-only screen of the uh, current uh, switch port settings. If we want to make changes, all we need to do is click on the pencil icon at the end of each row. So if we do that now, we can click on, say, let's just pick on number 7, click on the pencil icon, and here we can see the uh, top of the list is the name of the port. Now we can give this a, uh, a detailed, a more intuitive name, and the one we have, let's see, switch to. Uh, you'll notice when I'm using these underscore characters, these typically was, represent spaces in programming where you can't ha have spaces between the letters. So you're not allowed to have any spaces between these words, uh, you're not allowed to have any special characters, so if you started doing this type of thing, it would cause an error. Uh, so let's, in actual fact, let's do that. So let's let's create a problem, and so we can see what it looks like. And click OK. It gives you a. a, a it explains here what you're allowed to have. So let's go back in. Clicking on the pencil icon it takes us back into that screen. If we delete what the current contents, which is the default name, and say link to switch one. So that's what this interface is going to be used for. We're going to connect this switch to another switch called switch 1 via this port. Below the name we have the status item which is basically do we want to turn this switch port on or off. Enabled is on, disabled is off. Do we want to turn it on or off? Below that we have the auto which represents auto negotiation. Auto negotiation is the process by which the switch talks to the connecting device um, between them they organize whether they want to go at half duplex, full duplex, 10 meg, um, 100 meg. Uh, there's nothing currently connected to this uh, switch port, so the switch port will always default back to 10 half is the default. If you find that you're having problems with auto negotiation, the switch port just won't come up, um, you can disable it here and rely on the manual speed and duplex settings which you can use you can change here however auto negotiation is, is enabled by default it tends to be very reliable and it's only very obscure situations where it tends to fail um, it does fail sometimes however and that's how you would get around that problem if you want to manually set the speed you can do so here we have 10, 100, 1000 uh, for example we can set it to 10 or 100 this one's a 10-100 port, so you can't actually go to 1000, and if you try to, it just tends to fail back to 100. We can set the speed uh, and the duplex. Here we have the duplex, so full would be, I have the ability to send messages and receive messages at the same time, i.e. simultaneously, 
or I can go half duplex which is to send or I can receive but I can't do both at the same time. Uh, these other items, back pressure and flow control, I would advise ignore these for now, there will be a separate video covering those. Uh, the priority is basically what um, is a quality of service parameter, again ignore priority for now and for example for tag state, ignore this for now. So if you have any quality of service settings on this pause, those settings will be reflected here. The uh, VLAN is which VLAN is this port assigned to, uh, by default it's assigned to VLAN 1. If we were to change that to a different VLAN, that change would be reflected here. Uh, the What role does this particular port play in spanning tree protocol? Again, it's another VLAN, uh, another video for that, so ignore that here. But that's what that's where you can see that particular setting. And uh, finally, we have GVRP, which is the generic VLAN registration protocol, which gives you the same functionality as Cisco's uh, virtual uh, VLAN trunking protocol. Um, but it's an industry standard version and it kind of simplifies the way we can organize our VLANs on our switches it kind of automates uh, a particular part of the process but again there will be a separate video for that so just to recover forgive me just to recap at the top we have the name or the description of the switch port then we have the, in the status do we want to enable it turn it on or disable it turn it off do we want to use auto negotiation, yes or no, enable or disable? Do we want to set manually the speed or, or not? Do we want to set manually the duplex or not? And the others, these other ones here, these back pressure and flow control we'll ignore for now, and these other ones are read-only items for um, kind of uh, diagnostics, troubleshooting purposes. Okay, so if we want to make the changes, we click on OK. And we see we see here we've exceeded the number of acceptable characters. Let's go back to here and call this one link uh, seven. Click OK. And take a moment or two for those changes to be reflected. And there we are, we can see that link seven's been changed. Okay, so let's go to uh, port one quickly and um, we can see if we open this up here we have the STP state to forwarding because we're using this port to uh, communicate on. So Spanning Tree Protocol has moved that to forwarding. Um, but again, it'll be a separate video for that. So we have different parameters here. Okay, so that completes this video on how to change the, modify the switch port settings. Uh, we covered speed, duplex, uh, auto negotiation, uh, interface descriptions, and some other items. Uh, I hope this has been interesting and, in, and helpful for you and on behalf of Garacom I would like to thank you all for your time. Goodbye.